actually from the scholarship, uh, Moses Obarisi. Yes, today we are looking at uh, the Commonwealth Young Professionals Program. And uh, this is a kind of a job opportunity for young professionals who are citizens of our Commonwealth nations to come over to the UK to, for some uh, assistant uh, research uh, programs, assistant research officers program. So the salary for this uh, position is, is 29,070 pounds per annum. And the closing date for application for this, uh, this uh, opening, this young Commonwealth Young Professionals Program is uh, 10th of July, 2023 at 5 p.m. Okay. He said the Secretariat is proud to support youth empowerment through our Young Professionals Program. The YPP creates multiple opportunities for talented and qualified young people from across the Commonwealth to contribute to our core work through work through transference of technical expertise, innovative ideas, specialist knowledge, and fresh perspectives. So all of you, you can see that's just a, a brief intro about the about the job opening in the United Kingdom. So let's look at the various uh, positions that are open. So the first on the list, on the list of positions that are open is the Assistant Research Officer in Trade and Competitiveness. The second is Assistant Research Officer, Office of the Secretary General of the, of the Commonwealth, uh, of the Commonwealth, as Commonwealth uh, Council. Then the third position of Assistant Research Officer for Economic Youth and Sustainable Development Directory. And the last, which is the fourth uh, position, is the Assistant Research Officer, Governance and Peace Directorate. So those are the various uh, positions that are open for application at the Commonwealth uh, Office in United uh, Kingdom. So I've earlier mentioned that the deadline of application is uh, 5th of July, 2023, sorry, 10th of July, 2023, 5 p.m. UK time. Okay, so let, let's now look at uh, what, what can make an individual to be qualified to apply or what can make an individual to be selected to be, if possibly, he or she apply for this position. So to be considered, you must be a citizen of the Commonwealth country age 27 or younger at the time of the application close. You will need to have a bachelor's degree or an equivalent in a relevant subject area and have at least one year of demonstrated work experience in the design and delivery of the subject relevant to development or democracy programs to projects. For that information, each position can be found by clicking on the relevant Links. So if you want to know more about each of those uh, uh, positions now, you click on them and it will take you to a link for that specific, uh, specific position where you can get uh, details about that particular position. Before we do that, let's just look at uh, uh, what is needed to submit, the documents that are needed to submit to apply for this uh, position. He said, please apply by submitting a CV and a cover letter. Cover letters should be structured to address the key criteria required in the position specification, giving clear examples. Okay, you can see that uh, it's just a, a direct and a straightforward uh, instruction. He said that uh, a CV and a cover letter is needed to apply for this uh, job or position. However, I say your cover letter should be structured to address the key criteria that are required in the person's, uh, in the person's specification, giving clear examples. That means you should tell all your cover letter that, it's, uh, that you've done jobs or tasks or you've worked in, uh, in roles that are related to assistant research office or you've done jobs that are relevant to uh, 
design and delivery uh, in development or democracy programs and projects. So your cover letter should be tailored towards such. So, so here is the application guide and here is the terms and conditions uh, document. So let's just look at uh, the description of one of the positions that we that we mentioned. Let's just look at uh, what are the main role that this uh, individual is expected to have, the main, uh, the main role, the skill that this individual is expected to have, and the job he or she will be doing in detail. Okay, so this is the Assistant Research Officer, Governance and Peace Directorate. So, a brief, a brief uh, task uh, description. It said the post holder should be able to engage in academic and practice oriented research to understand and explain complex situations and realities in a changing world, undertake in in depth and high quality research and prepare presentations as well as reports. They should also be called, they should also be called upon to assist in some standalone and ongoing project work. The post holder will assist the digitalization work within the Commonwealth Secretariat as well as in the ongoing digital capacity development work in the member countries. So those are the things that are what that are there. He said the post holder will assist with sensitive and confidential matters and liaise at all levels. The assistant research officer position is for a two-year term as a part of the Commonwealth Young Professional Programs. Okay, so that's another one there that if you are applying for this particular position. That's what you should note. So the required qualification is a, it's a bachelor degree in a, either in law, in political science, or in information technology. However, if you have a postgraduate diploma or, in a, or a relevant master's degree, it will also be considered as well, or it will be an added advantage. So here are the skills that are required for that particular position that we just have mentioned. So at least one year of experience working for a research center or, a, or as a research associate. Two, evidence of the ability to carry out an in-depth research. Three, has demonstrated experience in stakeholder engagement. Four, Proof of knowledge in two or more of the following areas. One, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, basic knowledge of artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, data analysis, economics, law and development, research writing, public international law, financial services, human rights, alternative disruptive, uh, dis alternative dispute resolution. Then the fifth is a high level discretion and tact in handling sensitive and confidential matters. Seven, ability to organize, anticipate, plan, prioritize workload, and work under high pressure to tight deadlines. So these are the skills that you must work, that you must have for you to be able that are needed from an individual who is applying for this particular role. So guys, that's a short one there for the, the Commonwealth uh, Youth, uh, Youth Program, Youth Professionals uh, Program. And the deadline for application is 10th of July, 2023, 5 p.m. UK time. And the annual salary is 29,000 uh, pounds and some fraction. Okay, guys, we have another one here. This is the Chal Chulabon Graduate Institute of Scholarship. 
the Chalebon Institute, Graduate Institute Scholarship in Thailand. And uh, this scholarship is for it's a postgraduate uh, scholarship. And uh, this scholarship has been, this uh, institute was established in 2005 under the initiative of Professor Dr. Professor Dr. Her Royal Highness Princess Chulabon from Fra Sri Sri Savagav Hana. Okay, so that's the name of the of the person that uh, that uh, this uh, this institute was named uh, after, or it was an initiative I gave it to this uh, institute. So let's look at uh, the various uh, areas that this uh, scholarship is presently covering, as well as the institute. So the CGI is currently offered programs leading to master's degree in applied biological sciences, environmental health, environmental toxicology, and chemical sciences. This year, 15 scholarships are available to international applicants, except Thai citizens, that is, this scholarship is fully for international students category. If you are a citizen of Thailand, you are not eligible for this scholarship. Okay, let's proceed. So scholarships are open to applicants who meet the following qualifications. One, they are under 30. Two, hold a bachelor degree with a cumulative GPA of at least 2.7 in one of the following fields. Sciences. Under sciences, we have chemistry, biology, biological sciences, molecular biology, or environmental sciences. Then two, medical sciences, medicine and medical technology. Then three, pharmacy or pharmaceutical sciences. So applicants from other related fields are also welcome to apply. One, must have a experience in science, scientific laboratory research. Two, must have demonstrated English proficiency, preferably one of two recognized tests of, of language proficiency. Three, must have a statement of purpose explaining their interest in the study. So those are the key things that uh, applicants must be able to submit or be able to demonstrate while applying for this uh, scholarship. Okay, so let's look, take a look at the field of study. The field of study are applied biological sciences, that is which is environmental health, environmental toxicology, as well as chemical sciences. Those are the two, these are three uh, respective fields that uh, this uh, scholarship are open to. Then let's take a look at the scholarship coverage now. Now this scholarship covers your your credit fee, your laboratory expense, your refreshers course, your enrollment fee, thesis fee, production of thesis uh, document, round trip FA, visa fee, first settlement allowance, relocation allowance, accommodation, monthly stipend, book allowance, health insurance, and others. Uh, I must confess that uh, this is among uh, the few uh, scholarships that, uh, that is fully funded to this extent. That has your laboratory fee covered, your tuition covered, your refreshers. For this is the first time I'm, I'm hearing the term a refreshers uh, course, as well as uh, an enrollment fee also being covered by, by a scholarship, uh, a scholarship board. So you can see, so you can uh, attest to this now that uh, this uh, scholarship is quite uh, is smart watering. It's, 100% fully funded. You have health, your health insurance also covered as well. You have your relocation allowance covered as well. You have your accommodation covered. You have your monthly stipend covered by this scholarship. He said the, 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 the scholarship award will cover six-week refresher course and follow 
by a period of two years master's degree study subject to an annual review of the scholar's satisfactory progress. So uh, this scholarship, is, you have an initial, a kickoff six weeks known as a refresher's course. So this uh, refresher's course is just like an, an intro into what you are about to do for the two years. So you're kind of, you are refreshed, you are, you are prepared. It's like uh, a pre prerequisite uh, class that will last for six weeks, which is uh, one month and two weeks. Why you prepare for the main uh, program. Now, let's look at the application procedure. You say one, send via, via email the scan files of the application form and all the supporting documents to the email address CGI underscore academic at cgi.ac.th. Step two, after step one is completed, send all original documents via postal service to postal address. Chula Bond Graduate Institute, Institute CGI Scholarship Program. 54, Cam, Cam, Fam, Cam Fang Faith. Six Road, Talat, Bank Ken, Laxi, Laxi in Bangkok, 10210, Thailand. So that's the address. Please take note of the address while watching the video. Take note of the address and be very careful you, so that you do not uh, mix one of it. As well as the application or procedure. You send the document by email first. That's sending it by email, then you send it uh, as a postal, as a postal document to the graduate, uh, to this uh, Chulabon Graduate Institute uh, Scholarship Program by me by by post to Thailand. Now let's look at the documents that are needed for to apply for this scholarship. Now it's your full transcript. Your full transcript is needed as your undergraduate uh, transcript. Uh, indicating the, the total number of years you spend in your undergraduate, the courses you did, as well as the grades that you that you had in those uh, courses. Three recommendation letters are needed. Statement of purpose explaining interest of study. Four, medical history report is also needed for to as a supporting document for this scholarship. Then number five, supporting documents to facilitate application screening. So also needed for this work for this uh, scholarship as a supporting document. The application pre period, the deadline for application for this scholarship is 30th of September 2023. And this video will be dropping in on the 11th of July, will be dropping in July 2023. So you can see that you see have, you have about two months to put all of this application in order. Application of award. It says satisfied applicants will be notified of the outcome by CGI around January 2024. Application form. It says application, CGI scholarship application form and medical history report can be downloaded here. So you download the application form here, download the medical history and report here. Then when you, after downloading medical history and report, you take it to a, uh, a certified physician or a certified medical practitioner will help you fill it after collecting some of your health, uh, health information and filling them into that particular form. They attest to it that these documents are what, these uh, details about you are correct, then you attach it to the documents that you'll be sending via email and via post to, to Thailand. So guys, that's a short one over there from the Kohabon to Labon Graduate Institute in Thailand. Remember, it's a fully funded graduate, postgraduate master's of scholarship in Thailand. It's 100% fully funded. Your visa is covered. You even, as far as your relocation allowance is covered, your FA is equally covered also. So you can see you do not need to, you don't, you shouldn't miss a chance here. So guys, that's a short one over there. Please like this video.
like this video and I subscribe to this channel. I'm Moses Obarisi and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.